As a painter of light, my brother's work impacted millions. I am very proud of him in that regard. His work provides comfort and a sense of home, and the people who enjoy his work are forever touched. Tom was influenced by many artists. Norman Rockwell was probably the most important of those. Rockwell painted themes of family and community, and Tom wanted to integrate those themes into his work. But he also wanted his work to touch other people, other countries, other cultures. And so he worked towards that end. We were very, very poor growing up. We didn't feel poor because my mother and sister always opened the world to us. They would take us to museums and events all around Northern California, and Tom really was enriched by that. But ultimately, that sense of uh, poverty does appear to some extent in his art today. If you notice, all of the cottages have lights on. Well, that's because my mother used to have to work out of the home in order to bring a check into the home and support things. That light suggests that someone's home for him. The lights in the window need just a little extra pop, so I bring them uh, some pigment, and you can see it here, that that little extra bit of pigment creates the sense of glow within the window. He was known as the painter of light because of his layering technique of the varnish and the oil. It would create a way for the light to shine through. When the light is brought up on a painting, it glows at you. When the light comes down, it almost like nighttime falls on the painting. He loved that technique, and that's how he became known as the painter of light. In addition to that, he also liked to hide little things into his painting so his collectors could enjoy examining them and finding nuances and little messages again and again and again. He loved the birds in the sky. He would hide hearts in the paintings for his daughters, and he loved to put the letter N in the paintings for his wife, Nanette. I'm very excited about Thomas Kincaid Studios, which is our newly formulated system of working with other artists. The Thomas Kincaid Studios was started by Tom in the 1990s. It was him and him alone. What he wanted to do was bring in a group of artists that could learn from him, and he could learn from them. It was always a collaborative effort. He was part of the studios until the day he died. Now the studios has taken over and has continued the Kincaidian style. One of the great joys you can have as a collector is to actually visit some of the sites that Tom painted. In doing so, you can compare what was there versus what he actually painted. He might move a bush, he might change the windows a little bit, maybe even change a whole building. He did it all to create the perfect image for his collector base. I would like to be remembered as someone who really cared about the process of art, about the process of learning to draw and paint. When people look at my brother's work, they always say, I wish I could live there.